back to be some cool it. Let's see where the plug's at. So today, changing the antifreeze coolant from 2002 Mustang. And what you wanted to do is you wanted to get underneath here. Move this out the way. So this bolt, that thingy, that little yellow looking thing right there. You're gonna want to twist that off, and then that hole is gonna have the coolant antifreeze coming out. Of course, you want to put it in like some kind of uh, capture can or some. So, you want a three-fourths wrench or something, and the coolant should come out in a second. So it does come out. It's just a very long tube. And now the coolant is quite literally dripping. So what you're going to do is once you've got it leaking a bit, instead of waiting forever, you're going to open the cap. And then as soon as I open the cap, it should go very fast like that, see? I'm going to open it all the way. There you go. Oh, shit. Okay, there you go. And that's how you drain out. Take the cap off, release this pressure. Comes out very fast. And when you do it, make sure you have this underneath it, because I just did it and it went everywhere, and this wasn't underneath it properly. <laughs> so make sure your catcher is underneath it properly so it doesn't get all over your floor. And tell this one has never been cleaned because there's literal like mud or something on there. Should clean that. And then for this, you want to take the coolant out because there's Really crappy old coolant still in there. So you want to do is take this off right here. So then getting this off. So this is the coolant reservoir. And it should just be able to pop out. There you go, just like that, just a clip. Bring this up, so I got this off. You got all the old crap cool in there. You can literally see, it looks absolutely disgusting in there, it's just dirt. That is disgusting. It is literally like Good. diarrhea. That's disgusting. It's nearly black. And you just wanna put, not boiling hot, but as hot water as you can or want. And you're just gonna wanna shake it around. Just get all the all the dirt loose because the hot water and the soap will work together and loosen a lot of it. And then you do not, definitely do not want soap in your coolant. <clears throat> you also don't want dirt in your coolant. So it's much safer to put soap and then just clean it out forever and just let dirt sit in your coolant. So, just clean it out until there's no more soap. So yeah. So now what you want to do is after it's all cleaned out, see that right there? It's a little clip. You try and calculate it just like that. It's pretty easy. Make sure it's pushed in, and then you're going to push this into that right there, just like that. See? And then once you got that on, you're going to then want to reconnect this to the end of that, and then that's how you basically clean out your coolant reservoir. So once you're done, uh, you're wanting to make sure to put this back on. This is the cap, make sure to put it on the same way before you enter your new coolant. So, yeah, make sure you put your new cap on, push it on, screw it all the way in. So this is what happens when you buy an older car. Um, when you hand tighten something and the plastic just snaps. <laughs> you know it's kind of old. <laughs> Hopefully the coolant stays in. This is the new one. Just gonna put that in there. So. Never do that. 
Yeah. Nice one. Just uh, you're probably gonna need two to maybe even three of these. But you're definitely gonna need two. I'm not too sure if you need three yet. We'll let you know. So what you're gonna do, as you can see, right here, is the vent plug must be removed before entering in coolant. So this is the vent plug right here. It does say just to remove it, so I guess you can remove it, sure. And um, and then probably use a smaller tip like this to fill it up. It's definitely much easier. So yeah. So what you want to do while you're filling it up is <clears throat> probably easier to have one person uh, emptying it, like uh, filling it up. Another person with a hose like this would be wanting to squeeze it. So that means you're pushing the air out and you're putting the the coolant in. So you pour. Okay, oh. stop. So then it's getting a little bit full. If you want to keep squeeze, oh, there you go. So let's get all the bubbles out. Just like that. Ooh. And yeah, you just want to keep doing that. Try and get all of the air out until you just have coolant in. And while you're filling it up and then you're squeezing it, as soon as it starts coming out of this, basically means it's full because that is the highest point and all of it is full. Now we're gonna want to run the engine. You know, of course, want to put some extra in the the coolant, the radiator, the reservoir. And then while you're running the engine, more of it will be going through, more of the air will be coming out. So you're gonna be wanting to keep emptying more coolant in. So yeah. So what you're wanting to do is you want to fill this up a bit more of the reservoir. As soon as this keeps overflowing and it just doesn't stop overflowing, then you should have enough in it. And that's basically for any car. It's just that if this goes down and doesn't come back up after recircling, that means you need more in it. But if it, if it goes down and comes back up straight away and it just stays up, that means your whole system is full. So then you'll fill up the reservoir a bit more until it says full. And then you should be all done and good to go.